Hello! And welcome back to Cud. How are you today? I'm alright. Thanks for asking. Appreciate you, bud. Um, we're just, I'm just clearing out Gritgate for all of its worth. Oh, we have some more Resha floor. Very nice. It's a, a, incredible to me that I have never found the entire story of Reshef when it's like, it's one of the few consistent stories that you get to hear like a lot. Like it's, it's you know, the one, the one hardwired story. I've never apparently collected the entire Reshef story because I've, you know, never gotten the achievement. Although the, I think that achievement might be fairly new. I might be wrong about that actually. Okay, we're gonna go here and we're gonna Temporal Fugue. And hopefully, our clones will... No, they did not. Okay, so what we do here is we're just gonna wait 150 turns. And we will Temporal Fugue again. Uh... Hmm. Is it still alive? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay, okay. Well, you know, the thing is, is it's, it's because it gets to recover. Like, when I'm waiting for my Temporal Fugue to come back, it gets a moment to recover. And our clones are not strong enough to get to it in time. So, I guess, um, I guess I, I can't take out this, uh, chain gun. Unless, I, I thought that this door was a red one that I was able to get over here. Did it change somehow? I'm wondering. I don't know. But, uh, what I'll do is I'll equip this pickaxe. Um, equip manual in our right hand, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tab to make that our primary. I'm pretty sure hitting the fulcrete armor is better than hitting the door. I'm pretty sure the doors are like they're some of the hardest things to break down in the game. It's actually easier to break a wall than it is to break uh, a door. Damaged. We don't want to mash because um, on the off chance, like as soon as I break it down, I'm probably going to get hit by a chain gun, right? It's badly damaged. One more hit will do it. Just waiting for that last hit. There it is. There's the chain gun. Uh, so now we're gonna go and we'll reset this as our primary, except it says that we're in, co in combat. This is the worst part about setting, you know, do using that to, to use your pickaxe. So now what I'll do is I'll go like here and then use Temporal Fugue and then they get to start hitting it right away. And there, there it is. Uh, hmm. I guess I accidentally hit that wall. That's because I have a uh, dig set on. Let's see, can I turn dig off? I think I believe there is a toggle. I didn't mean to do that. Control tab. Staunch wounds. Okay, no. Uh, there is a way to toggle off, like, don't dig. Because um, then you run into this situation. So I guess I'm just going to unequip the pickaxe. All right, we have fully explored this zone. There is this zone left, and there is some stuff in here to check out. Um, so I'm gonna open that door. Oh, what? Sounds like a, a lot of this stuff just got destroyed. And then we're gonna Temporal Fugue. Let... Yep, there we go. Oh, there's still a chain gun in there, my lads. That was not very smart. All right, there's the chain gun destroyed. Um, hand axe, beaded bracelet, copper nugget. 
On humanoid mimicry of animals and plants. Why do some creatures seem to prefer when we assume their likeness while others hate it? So we have uh, an actual like um, book like with words in it and not just a re random generation of gobbledygook. Uh, and we have ourselves a freeze grenade. Nice. That'll be worth keeping for a little while. All right, so we're good. The next place we need to go to is Golgotha, but uh, you know you know my thoughts on going to Golgotha. Why did I decide to stop at the ruins? Uh, possibly the worst thing you can do. Oh, good. Let's do it again. Let's learn our lesson. Not at all. Forgotten ruins. See, the, the worst part about doing that is you have a very good chance of just being surrounded by enemies and then you can't leave. So, not not a great idea. So what I'm thinking is, uh, what I might do is we're gonna come here. I don't think I have any quests to do here. Um, I'm just gonna check out the merchant, see if they've got anything good. Got some lead slugs. Wouldn't mind, this might be the one run. Well, I don't have very good agility in this run. I was thinking maybe we could do, um, we could do, make this the, the guns akimbo uh, playthrough. That'd be a lot of fun. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my ego, uh, my attribute point on ego. And now temporal fugue is at six. Um, we'll con okay, so we can improve the temporal fugue. So it's at seven now. So now we're at seven, uh, four copies, which is great. We're also at level 12. I'm pretty sure we're very close to another rapid advancement. Um, I, I kind of want to check out this other named location over here. Oh, is it Tinker's Gather to exercise their arts in the vanished theocracy who's ruined life? Is this not another, like, historic location? You're lost. Of course I am. I'm not even out of the salt marshes. You regain your bearings. At, at a certain point, I might be worth, like, fully exploring the marshes, because there's not a lot of them. There's not, not a lot of marshes. Um, smell roasted boar. No, I do not want to investigate that. Whoops, overshot into the river. That could have been bad. Uh, it might be worth fully exploring the, ru the, the marshes just so you never get lost in them. Similarly, it might be worth doing that for... Uh, hey, I, I see that uh, um, Kyakukya has gotten a visual upgrade. What kind of reputation do we have for Mumu? Nuntu, sorry. Hated by antelopes, hated by roots, hated by the mechanimus. Sorry, Nuntu, we are not friends. And we never will be. <laughs> um, advertisement for the distillery of Cad, a legendary Iker merchant. That's not a bad one at all. But, uh, oh, yeah, pass for now. Um, definitely, I would like to talk to Warden Indrix, and we might want to achieve this quest. What kind of... Oh, that's right, you're always hated by um, goat folk. So it's always questionable as to whether it's worth making friends with you. I won't make friends with you because one of the reasons I wouldn't mind making, uh, do, doing this quest is, um, is your interest waned? No. Um, is because it, there is an achievement for making friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. Uh, is there anything else I should know? Okay. So, uh, but I won't be doing this for a while because, um, Mamon Soul Drinker, well, I guess if we're friends with goat folk, then it, the, this quest is kind of a no-brainer. Not not really a big deal at all. There's a Banner Knight Templar Worshipper of a... Bar what? Strange. There is a uh, Tempest Pute... Uh, Tempest... Pewter Tempest, or... I'm sorry, Pewter Templar here. There's um there's also many achievements associated with um okay why do we have why are we why why are we have uh, baddies here weird oh no what what is happening are we just perma stunned forever what is this clone okay uh, I guess there was a cloning device here somewhere and they cloned me. 
What? Okay, well, I'll just make clones of myself. And herein lies absolute chaos. Can we prostatize ourselves? I, I can't tell who's on my side. I'm being attacked by me and me. I, okay, the ones that are facing right are clones and therefore bad. Whereas the ones that are facing left are actually me. But they are temp, uh, t um, temporal means. So this is, this is a mess. You know, the worst part about being attacked by yourself is you, I don't even think you get any... Uh, experience from killing yourself. Okay, so here is this cloneling and worshipper of Oboroku, uh, Oborokoru. Um, yeah, I mean, Yeah, we are being killed by uh, Indrix right now. Why did I do that? Because I don't want to have to deal with a cloneling. I didn't mean to do that, though. I did not mean to move. I died. Of course I did. See, uh, this, those are the kind of situations, although kind of fun, uh, not really fun. Like, uh, you know, if you're actually trying to do something or accomplish something, uh, though it is, like, fun in its derangedness, uh, I, I don't really want to have to deal with that situation. Like, this guy is actively trying to clone me right now. So, I have gone ahead and killed the cloneling. Um, Kya 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 will eventually get over this transgression. I promise. It'll take a while, for sure, and I'm being attacked by many things. Can we leave too famished to travel long distances? Cool. Let's go ahead and eat, and now we can leave. Um, notice some ruins. Sure, I'll stop by some ruins and absolutely ruin everything. Discor discover le lead canamur. Oh, there's a frog. Um, I kind of want to go back to Kya 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 just to make another checkpoint and hopefully they're they're cool with me now. I do have a cloneling here, unfortunately. I think we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. Okay. Like, you know, it's it's a it's a strange balance that Cud plays. And um, you know, you gotta be kind of cool with the fact that every once in a while it's going to throw some just absolute diabolical chaos at you and there's not really a lot you can say about it you can't really question it because i mean it's the good and bad of cud this is um fire snout fire snout is fine i don't mind fire snouts slug snouts not not so good uh are we in a oh, ho ho okay ape ape bad actually <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and Temporal Fugue. Can we do, can we get away with it? Intimidate? And maybe we can proselytize a albino ape. Yes! Albino ape is a good friend to have. That is a double-headed slug snout, I'm pretty sure. Two-headed slug snout and mem member of the kith of the gleaming specter. This is a named location in the jungle. Didn't know that. That kind of, um, makes it far far spicier than i would have liked i assumed it was a name location in the hills which is far less spicy that being said i'm not um totally against checking this place out i have a pretty recent um checkpoint so this could be fine i mean like you know with great risk comes great reward right that's what i tell myself moments before i die We have another double-headed slug snout. Yo, ape, you could have maybe blocked them 
from hitting me. But look at that ape absolutely just like destroyed that lad. Oh, okay. This is maybe a little bit spicy. Let's go ahead and temporal fugue. Yeah, your companion died. Makes sense. If we could proselytize this other ape, that would be great. And we did. Amazing. Keep together strong. And I do feel a, a kinship towards the ape. Is that an ogre? No, it's just an injured. That's my, that's my ape friend. <laughs> yeah, dead. Um, let's go ahead and um, try and proselytize. Doesn't seem to understand you. Okay. Interesting that the other apes were totally cool with me. You know what would be a really good companion? Would be a two-headed slug snout. Unconvinced. You know, in a weird way, I feel less threatened by two-headed slug snouts than I do regular slug snouts. Does that make sense? So we have convinced a uh, slug snout to hear our pleas. A, a two-headed one. And as much as I don't feel super threatened by two-headed... Oh, God, no, a humor. That's This is where it all goes downhill. Um... We're going to intimidate them. Uh, we are actually dying from our own companion more than anything else. Oh, we got super lucky there. This is not a great situation. A fire snout, not... That's fine. It's whatever. Fire snout... I mean, please do not prove me wrong by killing me. What, what do we have here? Ooh, a weird artifact. Chain pistol. Excellent. Absolutely, I will take a chain pistol. Look at that. Chain pistol already paid for itself. We're at 64 drams here. Our first books. Three of them in a row. Level 14. Excellent. Um, I kind of don't want to push my luck. I, I feel like I've gotten insanely lucky here. So why don't we go back to Kya Kyu Kya? No, I don't want to go check out some roasted boar. No, no thank you, please. Uh, I want to go back to Kyukya and um, rest for a moment. And um, do we want to sell or buy anything? No, I don't think we do. Uh, we don't have a lot. I think we do want to sell some stuff because, yeah, uh, I, I don't have a lot of money. What kind of agility do we have? We have mm, okay agility. I don't think it would be a bad idea to take a, uh, like, say, a pistols. Pistols, can we go? We could go akimbo. Is this the run? I think this is the run where we go gun, guns akimbo. I've been talking about it. I have been talking about it, and guns akimbo is a really, really nice um, skill. It's expensive in this case, but I think it would be worth taking. So let's take pistol and take akimbo. We can't necessarily take uh, a lot of the other skills. In fact, none of them. Fastest gun in the rust. Be, I mean, it'd be nice, but this is not an agility run, and so therefore, you know, not, not uh, super viable. But guns akimbo is really worthwhile. Drink mold mushroom cider. Let's try it. Plus five quickness. Seventy-five percent chance that itchy skin doesn't develop into a fungal infection. Excuse me. Has that always been a thing? Has that always been a thing? Oh my god. Yo, Nuntu. I don't I don't want to make friends with you because you are hated by a lot of people that I need friend to be to be friends with. But 
Yo, could you please teach me how to make that mold, mold mushroom cider? That is absolute fire. 75% chance. That is so nice. That would, that would just be, that's just, mwah, I love that. Excellent. Tasty brew. Um, all right. So, I guess I'm going back to the name location. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm a, I'm a damn fool, aren't I? Well, this is the thing. This is the maybe the uh, questionable decision when it comes to playing uh, role play mode. Is yeah, there is still risk, of course. Where is this campfire that you're telling me about? Where? Where? Where is this campfire? This is the problem with this whole campfire business. I really just wish they would let me make another campfire. It, it, I understand that, you know, there have been measures taken. But, like, the campfire business is, like, always a problem, basically. Now I can't make it because there's water here. All right, can we do it here? Cool. Um, this is the questionable decision when it comes to, uh, you know, playing in roleplay mode is that I'm going to take more risks. You know, I'm going to play even more aggressively than if I had played in, in, in classic mode. And then Lord knows I do play pretty aggressively. But is that not also maybe more entertaining? Wouldn't you rather see me take more risks than... Oh, my, my double head. Oh, this is not my friend. My friend has died. We have a new friend, though. Friendship with old two-headed slug snout is over friendship with new two-headed slugs now is also over they are dead they died actually and we will not have a friendship with this other okay friend friendship with new slugs now is also not a thing because they didn't like me oh hello hello ape ape how can how can ape not be convinced ape ape absolutely should be convinced by my pleas that is my opinion with that is it not more interesting i almost honestly like if you made it this far far into the video welcome to the past the 15 minute mark by the way hey we just got information on a new historic site amazing um is it not entertaining, and I want to hear from people, to see me take more risks and, like, go to, like, say, some of these historic sites before I'm, like, fully ready and over-leveled? Um, or do you prefer watching me, um, you know, do the regular thing where I, I play things perfectly safe and I, I'm always, like, playing super as optimally as I can, as optimally as I you know, as I could, given that I don't play very optimally. What, what's what's your opinion on this business? Oh, you know what? Let's try prostitute. Nope, never mind. They don't understand me. Sometimes ape is smart enough not to be convinced, and sometimes ape is smart enough to know that I am full of beans and uh, knows not to be pulled into a cult. Also, it must be said that Ape is already part of a cult and therefore would prefer not to join another one. So, I understand Ape is both too stupid and too smart to be convinced by me, but, you know, sometimes they are also pretty dumb. Go ahead, Ape. Go ahead. Book, book, book. Lots of books. Two-headed slug snout almost took me out. I want to make a kid's book. You know, like a, a book that reads almost in like prose. Um, that's like very, you know, juvenile and, and, and full of um, childlike energy. But it's about Caves of Cud. And it's like just as violent and uh bizarre but it still reads as if like you know it's everything is in pastel colors and like watercolor um but it's just you know like you know, 
What's what's my character's name? I it does it's not telling me because there's too much going on in the interface right now. Also, we're we're fighting monkeys. Oh, legendary monk. Uh, disliked by cannibals. This hated by the villagers of Bamu. Loved by the kith of the gleaming specter of the tinker's theocracy of Ur. That would be just wonderful to read in a uh, kids book. When oh, there's another legendary monkey here. Um, that's the same one. Admired by crabs. I don't want to be... I don't want to... I don't want to be enemies to crabs. Um. Hoping that my... Yeah, okay. Actually, that's the best thing that could have happened there. Oh, no. That, that, that was... So, okay, temple view time. Put out the fires, eat some witchwood bark. Oh my god. Level 15, Genome enters an excited state. Would you like to spend four? No, I don't. We're gonna th double down on double muscled. Rank seven. Oh god, please. You're now despised. Reputation with cannibals. Okay, okay. One of the two can uh, legendary uh, monkeys died, unfortunately. Please don't die. Well, there's the other one. Hated by crabs. Sucks. I have to go now. <laughs> I am not okay, actually. All right. Plus one ego for the rest of the day. That's quite a random and beautiful boon I've just been given. Um, can we throw some more points on Temporal Fugue? Yes, we can. We can't throw another one. Unfortunately, that would get us to five copies. We do have another attribute, so we could get to 26 ego. Um, let's do that. I don't have to worry about strength too much because our strength is being increased by double muscled. Um, that's going to increase our penetration. So I think we're doing all right, all things considered. We have some wine. I appreciate that the this is this whole interface has been vastly improved in terms like of collecting wine. Recover coil liticus uh muparter mupater boon. We have to go to Mupater. Oh okay, this is not a great zone. Uh friend with ape. I don't want to accidentally kill my friend Ape. Because then my name is Mud. Actually, I don't think that you um, are technically breaking the water ritual if you accidentally kill your friend. It's a, not good. I mean, you lose your friend, but I don't think that, uh, it, like, you're technically. I don't think you're breaking it. Breaking a water ritual is, like, super bad. Very dumb. And it, if, if this run goes well, I will have to technically do that because there's not only an achievement to make friends with a Borokoro, but there is an achievement to kill a Borokoro. So I will have to do one of those before I do the other. Now, one might argue that in the spirit of the, spirit of the uh, series might suggest that I make friends with them in one playthrough and then make uh, enemies or kill them in another playthrough. I might agree with that. I'd like to hear from the comments. What is the spirit of this? Oh, is that a... That, that is a space-time vortex. Oh, I see. We are dabbling in, in forces in which we should not be dabbling. A legendary albino ape and leader of the kith of gleaming specter of the tinker's theocracy of Ur. Hated by the villagers of Shemrod. Um, disliked by the villagers of Ezra. 
if I do a diagonal, well, no, that was, I choose, I chose poorly and have been vortexed, unfortunately. Fortunately, though, there is an achievement associated with that. Cosmo Chrononaut. I am only two strata deep. Are we enemies to the, no, we're actually, okay, we're, we're just in a random place in Cud. And, uh, you know, when you're in a random mall, you definitely want to pick something up. So let's go ahead and tr trade some of our stuff. So we're picking up a mossy tube and examining that. It's a skull conjecture. Stun gas grenade. Nice. Well, we're only two strata deep. I, I don't imagine there will be much in the way of danger down here. Oh, a mimic. Well, mimics are always uh, way more bark than they are bite. It'll always tell you that a uh, mimic is impossible in terms of its danger. Don't listen to that. Mimics are actually small time. Yet, you will get the experience as if it, you were fighting something of, like, very large... Um, you know, virtue or, or very large reputation. Oh, what? Mechanimus Breacher? Really? Why? Down here, huh? So, um, I 100% could just recoil out. That's, you know, 100% what uh, one could do. But, you know, we're underground. When in Rome, you know that? I think we're, yeah, we are in, the, we're in this, the salt desert. We are underground in the salt desert. Uh, and we are dabbling with many dawn gliders. Not great. Um, could die here. Okay. Dawn gliders are no joke. I think it's funny that it tells you what button to, to reload now. Um, not, you know, for any condescending reasons. Like, I, I, I you know, it's, it's good that it tells you. But I guess it's funnier that it didn't used to tell you. Guns akimbo with a chain pistol are really... It's really going well. What I should do is take butchery um, in cooking and gathering so that... Uh, I can start gathering some Dawn Glider business. Don't forget, if you're on fire, if you wait in spot, your your yourself will attempt to put out the flames. This is an interesting spot. It's like a little lab. Strange furniture, brain sculpture, metal workbench. The, you know, it's less dangerous fighting Dawn Gliders underground because they don't have the advantage of flight. That's really one of the biggest um, advantages they have. So fighting Dawn Gliders underground. Actually, I feel like underground um, six day stilt is one of the best places to grind, especially like early mid game. It seems like a good place because Dawn Gliders are worth a nice chunk of not just experience, but also money. If you get butchery, it's free money. Free money to uh, to kill dong gliders because every time you butcher one, um, you are get you, you just you're getting money. You're not just getting money, but you're getting money that takes up zero room in your inventory. We should wait for our friend to fully heal. Um, because, uh, basically butchered goods doesn't take up any room in your inventory. And Don Glider tails are very valuable. For good reason, they, they give you quite a good boon if you cook with them. Nice. Um, do we want the Isakari rifle? Should I take Tinkering? Might be a good time to take Tinkering. And we can take um, Scavenger. 
No, disassemble. We'll take, we'll take both. Disassemble and scavenger. So then we can start getting stuff. And then I guess I'll take tinkering soon. I don't expect to have a lot of intelligence in this run, so we won't really be able to get, like, the crazy good stuff from tinkering. But um, certainly we want to at least have, an, you know, the, the basics so that we can disassemble. Um and make grenades. I think it's always worth at least having tinkering one, which is enough to give you all of the grenade tech. Oh, and we can also disassemble uh, rifles. I mean, I, I don't think there's any limit to what you can disassemble. Like, as soon as you're able to, you can disassemble anything. So I can treat these Azakari rifles as scrap, disassemble them, and we're good to go. And basically, that's free bits every single time we come across an Azakari rifle, which is quite common in the uh, Six Day Stilt. Or not Six Day Stilt, sorry, Salt Desert. So we just uh, preserved our Dawn Glider tails, and now we're gonna eat some food. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm really just kind of exploring. It's a nice thing to do. But I think I am going to end the episode here because it is a running long. Um, and I'll, I won't, uh, I won't end on a cliffhanger here. I'm just actually going to recoil out. Let's do control. Shift R is my, the shortcut mod, which is really nice. And we will recoil to our home town. And I think it would be worth maybe making a trip to the six day stilt at this point. So we do have a number of books worth handing in and one reputation, or sorry, one uh, uh, secret of Reshef, so that'd be worth it. And in any case, I hope you're enjoying this. You are enjoying the series. Definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.